In February 2011, the first truckload of poles arrived at Ellie Meyer's newly established construction yard in Palmyra, Maine. After months of planning, crews were eager to begin work on the four-year construction project, which would add some 2,100 jobs per year and more than a billion dollars in spending to Maine's economy. The largest energy infrastructure project in the Pine Tree State's history, the Maine Power Reliability Program was an investment that would ensure the continued reliability of Maine's 40-year-old bulk power system and increase access to the state's growing renewable energy resources. Established in 1891, the Ellie Myers Company is the oldest of the MYR Group subsidiaries. Over the years, the company has established a reputation for ingenuity. In fact, it was Ellie Myers who first deployed helicopters to set lattice structures and built this country's first 345 kV transmission line in the 1950s. <laughs> Nearly 60 years later, Ellie Myers was awarded the largest portion of the MPRP, the Northern Loop where it would build and rebuild more than 1,000 structures and 210 miles of 345 kV and 115 kV transmission lines, spanning the evergreen forests, rugged mountains, and sparkling rivers of northeastern Maine. It's a huge project for what it means to the state of Maine, not just from the electrical side, but in the economic side as well. As the line turns, we'll be putting in... And who better to work on the project than the folks who live here? I'm one of many lucky people from the state of Maine to have been able to work on this project. A lot of uh, our team are from Maine. The scale of this project has required uh, just an enormous amount of folks and uh, you know we've had to take people that weren't in the trade, bring them into the trade, give them the training they needed through the local apprenticeship programs and we've really given a lot of folks an opportunity to work in a, a very good field and make pretty good money. I'm working my way through this apprenticeship program thanks to Ellie Myers. I definitely notice they like to hire as many local people from the area as they can. The area includes not only Maine, but other New England states as well. Yeah, there's a lot of local people here on this project. It's always nice to see the company try to keep local employees, you know. So I'd like to stay as close to New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont as I can. Tom McCosh is from Berlin, New Hampshire. He came to the MPRP from IBEW Local 104's Apprenticeship Training Center in the Granite State. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to get on this job. It's, uh, it's only about two hours from my house, which is actually the closest I've ever been. The Northeast Apprenticeship Training Program has been really fantastic to work with. We've worked with at least 150 apprentices on this project that have come through our doors. It's a great place for a young apprentice to come and gain this kind of experience. He'll be able to pin that, you see what I mean? you got good teachers here. There's a bunch of people that's willing to teach. I mean, that's the thing. They're going to learn more on this job than they are in a lot of places. One of the few videos you're going to see out there. And most important, they learn how to work safely. During our orientation process, that's one of the things that's really stressed is that everyone is empowered to stop the work if it's not right. We've got plenty of the big hooks, we've got positioning lanyards, we've got retractables. Uh, they appreciate the tools we give them, the safety equipment, the fact that we give them time to do it right. I really think uh, they appreciate that. We recently achieved a million work hours uh, on the project without a lost time incident. We're extremely proud of that. And it's a commitment, number one, to safety, but it's also a commitment to doing the right thing for everybody. All I ever wanted to be was a farmer. <laughs> yeah. Gary Williams is the community relations specialist for the project. He's a friendly face who answers questions and solves problems for local residents and town officials. And Gary and I, over the, the project, you know, we were able to build a relationship of, of trust with one another. Uh, and I, I consider that relationship was nothing but positive. Any complaints that were, were brought forward by residents and so forth were handled expeditiously. And, you know, they got right onto it. And uh, so it made my job much easier. Especially at the last two weeks before closing. We Danielle Flanagan and her husband bought their home in Clinton, knowing line crews would be using their driveway to access the right-of-way and not knowing what to expect, we were, we were scared. Particularly because the crews would sometimes be working at night. The crew was very courteous. They tried to face the lights as far from the house as possible, which was nice for our sleep schedule. And even pulling down into the driveway, they'd turn their headlights off so that they weren't shining into our windows at night. That meant so much, especially as first-time homebuyers. 
we could still have a home and not be part of this active construction site. Were you happy with the project? Yeah, were you very happy? <laughs> Moral resident David Simmons also had nothing but good things to say after leasing his field to Ellie Myers for helicopter landings. It was in a strategic spot for him and uh, it seemed like it would work out all right so we, I agreed to, uh, to let him use it. But when they left there was no evidence of them even being here and uh, the field you wouldn't even know it. Pristine when they when they landed and pristine when they left. That makes me feel good to know that that our, our footprint is almost non-existent, and that that makes me feel like like I've done my job, and, and the company has has fulfilled their commitment. I hired another one today. As a Mainer himself, environmental coordinator Chris Lavasser shares that commitment to preserve and protect the state's natural resources. So we're all doing our part to make sure that we leave our state in a condition that we're happy with. And that we're working for a company that, that supports that. Maine's climate and landscape, while beautiful, can also present some major challenges. The four seasons in the state of Maine, along with the, the very difficult terrain that we have to deal with, this is a very tough project. One of the toughest tasks on the project was site preparation for four 370-foot tall lattice towers, which were assembled along the rocky banks of the Penobscot River. Blowing through tons of ledge to make way for the towers required the local knowledge and expertise of crews from Maine Drilling and Blasting, who have worked steadily for Ellie Myers throughout the project. We've had five, sometimes ten guys on their line at one time throughout the last couple of years, which has been a huge deal for, for us in Maine. Large or small, steel, wood, or concrete, Ellie Myers Quality Assurance Supervisor is there to see the crews are doing the right things the right way. If a bolt is sticking out half an inch longer than it's supposed to, then he lets the general foreman or the foreman know. You know, we build the line the way it's supposed to be built. They know our quality is there. And I think that's true with our subcontractors that we've hired. Subcontractors such as Lawcom, based in Viana, Maine, who performed all of the fiber optic splicing and testing for the project. Our, our fleet department, MY, our fleet has supported us in every way. It takes an awful lot of equipment. It takes a, a lot of good equipment. Of all the remote sites we have, uh, you got to have dependable equipment. They have a lot of nice stuff to work with. When you need something, they buy it, and it's not junk. And that's really helpful for us to be out here working in it. Also really helpful are the hundreds of Ellie Myers workers who are out there powering up the local economy, giving new energy to Maine's small businesses. Oh, it's been a huge pickup, especially in the morning business with the coffee and the breakfasts and stuff. And the guys have been great. We saw a big influx at lunchtime. Uh, you know, you'd see anywhere from 10 to 20 different guys come through. It was good. It was good for business. It's, it's good for the whole state. Well, absolutely. The dealership uptown, people renting homes, the young fellow that went in the snow plowing business in town. Yeah, it's made a big, big difference. Yeah, that's going to be a hard call. Gary Beam is a farmer who supplied Ellie Myers with more than 60,000 bales of hay and straw. It's helped me get a lot of back bills paid up because, you know, the economy hasn't been that good and stuff, and it, it has helped in that respect. I paid everything off, so I'm set in a lot better position than I was. Steve Clisham's construction company supplied Ellie Myers with more than 10,000 yards of aggregate. We handled uh, the inch and a half stone for the pole settings, and a lot of the round rock stone for your entrances, and the crushed four inch stone. It was orders, it would be 15, 20 loads that we could split between a few trucks. Worked out great for us, give the employees more hours, a lot of overtime that they didn't expect. And it really helped everyone in the area. The town of Winterport received an unexpected windfall when Ellie Myers leased an old runway that was ideal for lattice tower assembly. It came at a really great time because, uh, as everyone knows, revenues are down in the state of Maine and uh, it was unanticipated revenue which helped our tax taxpayers.
MYR and Ellie Myers are extremely proud to be a part of the MPRP project. The aging infrastructure is uh, something that needed to be addressed, and I think the Central Maine Power has done a, an awful lot for the state of Maine. Everybody has worked so well together that uh, this is a great model, I think, for people to look at. And it's just been a win-win for everybody. We've got hundreds of folks from New England, Maine, myself included, that have worked on the project. We've been able to live close to home, earn a great living, contribute to the economy, and protect Maine's environment. I've been out there since they've left, and it looks just like they've never been there. We're putting power in that enables this renewable energy to flow into our state and out of our state. So that makes me feel good that this construction is allowing for a cleaner future.